Good evening you beautiful people, how's it going? I hope you're all doing it really really well. Today I've got an unboxing for you and it is a new box um, to me and I think it's a relatively new box in general. I recently unboxed a witchcraft and magic box from um, Feathers Foraging and Flynn, I'll link up here. Um, I paid for that box and I paid for another one because I really really loved it. Um, and the company very very kindly offered to send me one of their herb boxes which is what I'm going um, to be unboxing now and um, it is a herbs for magic box on their website it says um, we have a new box in celebration of our up and coming Ostara we introduce herbs for magic a monthly herb course in a subscription box every month we'll focus on a different herb or flower looking into the different magical correspondences identification guide recipes and all good things like that um, there'll be special gift items um, it all starts with magic so you'll get seeds um, a planting guide a degradable pot a peat free growing pellet and of course the seeds you'll also get um, five grams of the dried herb a card hand illustrated um, by us with the magical correspondences on it that you could use for your altar or put it in a frame there's coursework you'll also get extra gifts um, which will change each month um, they'll wherever they can they like to have them um, grown, made or foraged locally to them. Um, it's £18 a month plus £4 postage and packaging. Um, it's only available in the UK at the moment, unfortunately not overseas um, or within the EU. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very excited to look at this. Um, I'll leave all the links for the company down below. On Instagram they're called um, Feathers Foraging and Flynn. I found them myself and purchased the box initially um, and yeah, it's just gone from there. They've sent me this one very kindly for free. So let's jump in and have a look. I don't have any scissors up here, I don't think. Oh, but I do have a blade, an eyebrow blade. That's not... It's for my eyebrows, but it will... It does the job of opening this. It is currently 8 o'clock at night, which is why I'm being slightly quieter than normal, because the babies are asleep. So... Here we go. It looks like this. Um, it's a starter information. Um, Magic of the Hedgerow Seed Planting Guide and Root Planting Guide. Um, so we've got this little paper thing here. Magical Herb Subscription Box. Uh, Magic of the Hedgerow. Um, um, my favourite time of year is when everything springs into life and magic comes alive with the natural flora Mother Earth has to offer. Journeying through the seasons of the year, we met with the abundance and variety of herbs to be used magically, medicinally and of course in our cooking. Um, we'll ask the methods of preservation and ways to include herbs in your everyday lives. Fresh, you could use them on your altars, offering smudge sticks, uh, spells, tea, bath salts. Um... Uh, dried, you can do incense, uh, poppets, spells, pot puree, potpourri, pot puree, what the fuck is wrong with me, potpourri, pot puree, good lord, teas and bath salts, it's very late, I'm very tired, um, uh, you can use them for spells and medicinal usage, to make a tincture, tincture, use dried herbs, place the herbs in a jar, allowing little space at the top and cover with alcohol, making sure the plants are completely covered, Seal and leave in a dark place for at least a month. Shake occasionally. When ready, strain into a smaller bottle, ensuring you are left with a pure liquid. Use it in two years. Um, oil infusion. Um, this is like this is the coursework. I'm not going to go into all of this because this is for me. Um, there's lots of different things. There's a seed planting guide. What to do with your included in this box? You get magical seeds of the month, degradable pot, a dibber. Um, P3 pellet. The pellets contain 100% RHP certified cocoa substrate. Enclosed in netting, making these vegan and earth friendly. And then it tells you how to plant them, which is lovely. A root planting guide. Magical root of the month within this box. P3 compost. Plant your bare root into a four inch pot or bigger. Again, tells you how to do it. So that's all about what is inside the box. Um, and then we've got lavender. And it says... Um, Tells you all the different things for lavender. There's named lavender, common names, levar, elf leaf, um, spike, English, uh, Latin name, lavendula, uh, plant family. The season is June to September. Um, I bloody love lavender. It's one of my favourite smells ever. I just, it, I find it so calming. I know not everyone likes it, but I 
absolutely love it. I've got spray dump here. Um, this is my, it's just showing you something else. This is a facial spray that I use all the time. It's like my fifth bottle of this and this is chamomile and lavender and it just, it's incredible. It's so relaxing. Um, and this is going to teach you all about lavender magical uses for love spells and sachets. Um, being associated with mercury and element of air. If you know tarot, you'll soon find that it's the perfect herb for anything to do um, with thought to help you focus. Sleep sachets can be filled with lavender, like you can get lavender pillow sprays. Um, medicinal uses, anti-inflammatory. Um, uh, you can make lavender sugar, uplifting tea. You can make anti-dandruff scalp oil, relaxing lemon and lavender bath salt. That sounds amazing. Um, included in this box is everything we've got. Oh, I think we can make the lavender. Oh, there is a lavender bath salt bath salt kit. That sounds incredible. So let's have a look. So the first thing we've got is the card that's been illustrated here, which is beautiful. Um, English lavender, clarity, cleansing, protection, divine alignment, healing, joy, harmony, balance, happiness, and peace. Um, super, super pretty. That's going to go up there on my wall. Um, and it's got in your box, um, you've got lavender, which is £1.54, illustrated card, £3, seed kit, £5, uh, lavender less than £5, a smudge stick. I was under the impression they were meant to be called cleansing sticks. Am I wrong? Probably wrong. Uh, lemon and lavender bath salt kit, £10, which sounds incredible. So it looks like this. So we've got um, the lavender seeds in a little doodad. Um, I'm not sure what that is, I've just dropped the seeds. Um, that's the little um, composty thing in the pot. Um, this is lavender smudge stick. I didn't think, I thought it was supposed to be called something different. That smells bloody amazing. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Look, please do correct me if I am wrong. I was under the impression it was meant to be a cleansing stick rather than a smudge stick because I feel like smudging is part of another culture. I'm probably wrong and just. I am still learning, so do feel free to tell me. Um, there's dried lavender here. I've got so many little pots of lavender up there, it's ridiculous, I love it. Um, and this is the Feathers and Webs Lemon Lavender Herbs for Magic Bath Salt Kit. Oh my god, that looks amazing. So I will definitely um, do that. And I've got the little stirry thing. Um, I'm very excited to do the bath salt kit. Let me just have a look and see what we've got in that. So the bath salt kit, we've got um, bicarbonate soda, dead sea salt, Epsom salt, citric acid, lemon, lavender petal, petals, lemon peel, lemon, lemon and lavender essential oil in sunflower oil. Um, and it sort of, it tells you what to do. Um, but that sounds absolutely amazing. I'm very, very excited to do that. Um, I do always like to chuck in some lavender in my bath. So having proper lavender bath salts will be amazing. Um, let me know what you think. If you are interested in this box, I'll leave a link down below for you. Um, yeah, I'm very, very thankful to be sent it. And my whole bedroom now smells incredible because it smells like lavender. Um, yeah. I think it's awesome let me know what you think thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye guys